So you want to catch Redfish from a kayak? Me too. Roll the intro. All right, that was some amazing footage. Luckily for us here in Florida, we have the ability to target redfish from the kayak throughout the year. If you're having a tough time locating redfish, this five part series is really gonna help you. I'm positive the information in this video will increase your chances of catching a fish in a lifetime. This is episode one. We're gonna talk about kayaks, rods, reels, tackle, and give you a little bit of background information about redfish. So let's look at kayaks. There are a ton of well-made kayaks in the market. We prefer to use these Old Town Predator PDLs. They provide all of our customers with smooth, easy to pedal, dry rides. The kayaks are stable. They allow us to stand up and sight fish redfish. And after all, we're talking about targeting redfish. So standing up is very, very important. There's tons of storage. The kayak's 13 feet long. There's plenty of room to bring all your stuff, put a fish bag in the back or on the front. And there's just options to mount the fish finder, put a transducer. Tons and tons of options. So let's go on and talk about rods and reels. When we target redfish, we prefer to have our clients use spinning gear. We often use something like this. This is a 2500 series reel. It has 15 pound braid on it. it has a six foot section of 15 pound fluorocarbon. It's a medium light seven foot rod. It has plenty of backbone and a soft enough tip to work a jerk bait, a topwater lure, and throw a zoom fluke or any other weightless fluke or, or lure. This is a three inch soft plastic lure with a quarter ounce jig head on it. And it's really all you need when you're out here targeting these redfish. There are a ton of different reel and rod manufacturers on the market. They all make great products. It's all made after the same stuff. Everyone knows what everyone else is doing. This is a great rod. This is a G Loomis E6X inshore. It, obviously they service well. We have a bunch of them. We supply them to all our clients. This is a Shimano Stratic. Uh, it also is a great product. We don't have any issues with them, and we'll keep using them until we have issues. Uh, that being said, you don't need to rush out and buy this or the latest and greatest. You can use what's in your garage. Uh, catching redfish is not that challenging. You don't need anything special. We have Doc Demon challenges every once in a while. I used to have a client that comes down from Kentucky, Andrew, I'm talking about you, and he brings little Doc Demons, and we go fishing with Doc Demons. Uh, they're not hard to catch. They are a blast to catch though, but this is what I recommend. But if you have something very similar to it, made by Daiwa or Penn or whoever else, take it out, use it. You don't need anything too special. So let's move on and let's talk about tackle and lures. If you're new to kayak fishing for redfish, lure selection can be overwhelming. I recommend you go into your local tackle shop, you talk to the guys in your area and they'll point you in the right direction. If not, you might just end up with a tackle box of hard baits and a whole bunch of random soft plastic lures that you don't even really use. I recommend you get a three inch soft plastic lure, a quarter ounce jig head, and you spend more time on the water than you do in the tackle shop or collecting tackle. You're gonna catch a lot more fish, and you're gonna save a lot of money. If you're shopping online, check out our Navarre Kayak Fishing Store on Amazon. There's a ton of items that we recommend. It'll save you a lot of time. And hey, if you have Prime, it'll be there in two days. If we're going kayak fishing for redfish, I really recommend carrying no more than three rods. Less is more. And the more room you have on your kayak, the less time you're spending messing around, and you can actually fish. When I go fishing, I try to carry three rods. Now, that'll be one rod that's paired with a topwater lure. I like to use a Jackal Bonnie. A jerk bait. I like to use a Rapala X-Wrap 08. And a soft plastic lure. Any three inch soft plastic will do the trick and get the job done. I prefer to use natural colors because, well, bait fish aren't pink, but pink lures do work every once in a while and we've been known to use them. But if you're just getting started, pick a natural color that looks like a shrimp or a small minnow and go fishing. Now let's talk a little bit about redfish. Slot redfish are typically found in shallow water estuaries where they are born and live. They feed on small crustaceans like crabs and shrimp. 
Once they become sexually mature, they will leave the estuary. A female red drum will produce over 200,000 eggs per spawning cycle. So it's important to take care of the breeding stock and make sure if you catch one, you release it healthy. Redfish are a truly amazing fish. Our clients come from all over the country and they always ask, hey, can we target redfish today? Is the weather going to be good for redfish? So keep that in mind on your next kayak fishing adventure and let us know how you do. All right, that's episode one. Episodes two through five will come out in the next few days, and they're going to be about how to target redfish winter, summer, spring, and fall. Let us know below which season you'd like us to produce first, and we'll get that one aired and put on YouTube and Facebook immediately. If you guys have any questions, make sure you send us an email at nick at and we look forward to you booking your next adventure.